rear seat is out, you can have a look here. It's actually uh, pretty bad condition. Yeah, but that's only a piece of wood. Well, yes, thank you. Welcome back to Mechanic London. Well, just looking back at some of the uh, videos myself of uh, Katie, here is that panel being remade. I've uh, made this here myself in the workshop. Um, we've nut and bolted it together or screwed it with some uh, countersunk screws there. It's all coming together and I'll just give you an eye eyeball here and you can see when those um, brackets they are offset. But for, and I've worked from the templates that we've actually had. So let's have a look and see where we're going. I've actually managed to uh, sort out these chrome trims uh, down here, or the spears. So they are actually on there. You've got one on this side, and we've got the other one that was on this side that took quite a lot of work to get sorted, but uh, I'm happy with that. The uh, windscreen. Uh, front and rear is in as well with the chrome trims um, Like to thank to uh, Phil for that he came over and done that and uh, I think he said uh, The rear one was the hardest one he ever done um, We both learnt something there if you're going to have your trims redone then um, Once they've been stripped and ready uh, coppered they've then got to be sort of tried on the rubbers uh, To make sure that they're fitting well, but they they, they eventually went and then we are on the uh, front as well so looking good brand new uh, windscreen there on the front on the back here I just want to show you the uh, plumbing system that's gone in so I've kept that original that runs along there as we can see there we go see that and then we've got some T pieces I mean these sort of stuff you can pick up in uh, the UK in Halfords um, I have seen uh, a couple of others and what they've done, i lift this up here, what they've done is they've drilled a hole in the floor and they've put it through there, but that's not what I want to do at this time anyway. But it seems to be working well, so the water runs in, goes down through there, you can see, uh, whoop, I can show you a hole, and uh, we've only got one outlet there. Uh, what else have we been up to? Uh, the wheels are on. We put some uh, deep section wheels. The uh, hubcaps got to be uh, painted, and they're on uh, one nine five sixty five fifteen. I'm pretty sure. Let's have a look. One nine oh sixty fifteen. Okay. Now, if we go inside, I've uh, you can see there. We've uh, also got the wheel arch. Uh, they're like vinyl covers with a foam underneath. Um, just done with a bit of um, spray on adhesive. Don't put it on too thick because uh, you'll find it. I noticed there on a couple of corners it started to get a bit, you know, uh, too rubberized. So looking back, you know, at that video, you can see the different. There's some, uh, yeah, soundproofing as you can see to go in there, and the headlining is in as well. And uh, if you look at back at the last video, I, I didn't remake it, but the clips are on the wrong way around. But I'm, I'm sure you can sort that yourself and see. But at the back of the headlining, there's quite a bit too dark there. But there's quite a, the clips are very small. And at the sides, you can use the green ones. But you've got to use the original or, or get the get newer ones. Um, the wiring's in here as well. So you just got a set of wiring in here. You've got your feed up to here. It goes down to a switch in the corner there. That activates it, and then we got it running in the boots. It runs through. At the moment, it's just pushed back in there, and it basically that that feed comes off of this one, and then off of uh, and earths out through uh, the door switches and down by the um, A pillar. So this is only just put down here oh, at the moment. What's you know, time has passed, and now you can you can buy these uh, pre-made from Sweden. Um, the carpet I've had done. So what we're going to do here, we're going to put uh, it used to be sort of uh, just a bit of material in here. We're going to put some um, some good new stuff out now to keep the noise down, so that we can uh, keep it a bit quieter in here and on the tunnel as well. And we'll put some in there as well because I noticed when we've had it running, there was a lot of heat from the exhaust. I think uh, one of the chaps 
um, emailed me and mentioned that as well and what way around it I think that would be the best and sort of like an aluminium foil so we've got our carpet here and it's only in temporary at the moment just to line things up the dash is on the speedo obviously we saw that in the last one well the rev counter is working so obviously got some sort of radio to go in there as well we need to sort a clock out for it okay well that's where we are um, even myself I'm going back and watching uh, some of the uh, videos to to see how I've done things as well um, time is going on and it's a uh, bank holiday here in the UK we're at the end of uh, August and uh, yeah I'm really happy well delighted with that the way it's going so uh, we're gonna keep it rolling keep it moving and keep on with it okay um wish you all the luck with yours and uh, again thank you for all your comments and emails and don't forget to watch us on uh, youtube with mechanic london bye bye for now